What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Here's the Scenario, starring your boys, uh, capital B O I Z. Okay, can we restart? No, I'm just kidding. Um, th- this is Here's the Scenario. I'm Brendan Sagalo, being joined with me as always by Mike Feeney and also Mike Cannon. Now it feels like I haven't hosted in a while, and I'm kind of getting the the rust off. And we are joined by Hit a show. very special guest. I, we all love this guy, especially me. I love him to death. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so funny, Joe List. Everybody, wow. thank you. I like the sentence "being joined by me." <laughs> <laughs> you look so nervous. Well, you know, I f- here's what's going on with me. Uh, I forgot to get all the stuff ready. I forgot to get the timer. I forgot to get the questions. Once you said we're doing, we do plugs in the middle. I was like, oh, there's a whole thing to this show. <laughs> I like completely forgot about uh, all the questions. And then you have to get into it. And then the music cue, you know, the music cue, we it's do it at the exact stress. same time. It's a lot of stress. Yeah. You got to get it a lot done in between. It's like a Lucy and the chocolate factory. Yeah. It yeah. speeds up. It feels like I can't even find it on my phone. The notepad. Well, I'll explain the show that you do. Uh, the show is uh, we get questions from you guys the listener to send us uh, uh instagram here's a scenario or uh go to our patreon patreon.com slash scenario pod submit the questions we answer them Found and it. uh have some fun yeah and if Explain you want to get show every week yeah, yeah just in case there's new people. we get we get wow. thousands of new listeners it's oh, crazy every week and and we very we're very sometimes we'll do things like this where we rant for a while up top and then we realize we haven't explained what the show you know it's not just uh it's not always just a storytelling show you know yeah you know it's not like the cool guys that just start the podcast whatever we're just talking we've been talking for an half an hour no we have a very strict schedule (laughs) (laughs) this is the show yeah (laughs) we're not changing it exactly Uh, (laughs) this is the show and we are explaining it and if you would like to send us kind of hypotheticals would you rather as mary f kills uh you can do it on our instagram but we do give priority to the patreon people so sign up for the patreon it's only five dollars a month patreon.com slash scenario pod i legit thought you were talking to me <laughs> like, well, I because questions? i was looking at you I was like oh, are you not okay. a member i'm not not yet <laughs> you're not i am now you convinced me <laughs> <laughs> so i'm i feel very silly i feel good by that's the way. called marijuana <laughs> <laughs> i walked up on the three hosts doing drugs <laughs> in an alley <laughs> Thought this is a real show. Just stroll, talking to my mom, and I just see three deadbeats in it. <laughs> I gotta go. I'm about to get robbed. Dead and then, and then the, dead the intro so. speaks directly to the marijuana use, of course, because yeah, we course. sputter out of the gate like a fucking injured horse. I know. I really should just blame it on that. Yeah, we got I'm, a lot of comments of stop addressing every pothole that you hit in the road. And I tried, but yeah. it's impossible. That's the show, though, and we're not changing it. Isn't it weird that there was a time where seeing you guys the way I did, you'd be like scary? Like three white dudes smoking weed right. yeah. in an alley, you'd be like, "Whoa, shit!" But yeah. Instead, I'm like, "Oh, there's the fucking idiots I'm looking to fight." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I thought you were gonna say, "Isn't it funny that it comes from a time from like?" Because I think about it when if this was 2009 or something like that, like seeing you would have been intimidating more from a comedy perspective oh, of like, as like that's a true. comedy, yeah. uh, like if the three of us rang out, and we we're like, "Oh, that's right. Joe List," you know, it would be yeah, much right. more. That kind of a thing. I now remember being nothing. A, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now I, now I feel nothing towards yeah. you. Yeah. Now I feel pity. It's an obligation. Oh. <laughs> I've failed, but I remember being at the New York, at, uh, when I went to the New York Film Academy in 2003, so this is 20 years ago, walking with all my fellow film students. It was like a four week program and seeing Dan Natterman at Artichoke Pizza. And I like stopped him and I was like, that's Dan Natterman. That is Dan Natterman. And they were like, what? And this is Dan Natterman 20 years ago. Yeah. Like, he had yeah. done, I think, Letterman or something. Even like, wetter like, lips. Yeah. Grabbed him. I was like, dude. And they were like, who? who? What? I was like, He's been on Letterman. <laughs> I did that same thing when I started comedy. It was, I, was, uh, with my, I was at UCB and then I was trying to do, I was writing a sketch with a guy at a coffee shop in Astoria and 
two, three, three or four tables over was Ted Alexandro, like just like reading the New York Times. I was like, that's Ted Alexandro. Doing what he does. Yeah, reading, reading the news. Getting Think political. What's going on up there? Yeah. <laughs> He's just figuring it all out. I got to start reading the paper. Ted reads, I got to read. <laughs> but now he's dead, which is crazy. Oh, dead Alexandro. <laughs> hey. All right, so let's get into some questions, man. Uh, this first one comes from Alex the Truck. Here's the scenario. You are arrested and accused of doing a crime you may or may not be guilty of. Your options are spend a month in jail while authorities investigate or go into a Thunderdome with an angry champ- chimpanzee for three hours <laughs> what? or until Thunder- one of you die. Well, that's jail. <laughs> jail. Yeah. I think jail, first off, would would help every one of ours credibility a little bit. I think it would add credibility, some discipline, humility. I think it would also now, it would also add a little bit of mystique, maybe, to all of us. You know, the chimpanzee three hours is the craziest part of all of that. It would be four seconds I'd before be our faces yeah. were ripped off. What do you mean You're terrified? You wouldn't have a chance to be terrified. You'd be a pile of eyelids. <laughs> dead, for sure. It really depends on the jail, I think. Because if it's a if it's like a maximum security prison where you have to like Well that's a prison though. Join a fucking gang or you're fucked. Then uh, I don't know. I'm, I would still. I would, ra- I would sign up for an open, <laughs> open ass train running on me, <laughs> like for a month straight over three hours with a gorilla or a monkey. I do that for fun. Also, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, yeah. No, that this is I, ridiculous. The gorilla will kill you. I know. Really. I know. I know. I just feel like I have a better chance of calming the gorilla down <laughs> yeah. and us joining forces. The gorilla kind of? sees Brendan's pink tits immediately is reminded <laughs> of its mother. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, suckling. Like, it's like, if your ass is red, we are going to be fast. It is! <laughs> I bet you have a red ass. <laughs> Rosacea. I might have a he red does. ass. He does. A I lot know. of pimples. and No, no pimples on Clean, clean, and very... So we did a thing oh, yeah. on the Patreon, if you want to sign up for this. It's a reaction shot, almost as if I watched two girls, one cup, <laughs> but I watched one Brendan, one asshole, and <laughs> He, uh, just because I was interested Ooh. to see what he was cooking with. And it's kind of like a kidney pool design. Oh. And it's all pink. Yeah. No, like it's all not too pink. bad. It's pretty clean. It's like I a neon diner clean. sign pink. There might be a little, a little bit of shit. You know what I mean? Like somewhere yeah. where you could go, I see where the shit comes out. You yeah. know what I mean? Come yeah. on. A couple smears. <laughs> a little bit of a smear. Not a stain, though. I would imagine a stain. Not, I don't think stained. I'm like, I, I got wet it. wipes. I got all that shit. I hop in the shower. I'm like, you have a bidet. Yeah, but I didn't. A day, I mate. I haven't set it up yet. Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> fuck, I had a point before that asshole shit. <laughs> there was something about the jail that I wanted to mention, too, but I completely. You, you were forgot. making a. a you were having a, a fallacy where you were saying that oh, you yeah. could survive. Yeah, you were you feel safer. You could woo a monkey in <laughs> yeah. the middle of coming. Let's get a monkey in here and just see what happens. <laughs> I feel like you're empathetic to this person who asked a really stupid question. You want to make them feel good. <laughs> that might be it. But option two, I was excited because I like the jail thing, but uh, I think he's, he's underestimating what a chimp will do to you. Yeah, a chimp will fuck you up if it's angry. Yeah, but it's probably going to get angry within three hours. I think the, I think the real question is, would you spend one minute in a room with no way out, no windows, with a chimp, or a month in jail? What now? One minute I would do because again, it, it's not an angry chimp necessarily. It might be, but right. we're assuming it's just a chimp in a room. You could, but it's anything, just seeing you. The whole yeah. room is white, and it's just you yeah. and it. But what? I think for one, if I get one minute, and then it's honestly, like, and then I, I think could, I could take on a fucking chimpanzee. That's, no, that's if I'm in crazy. a room. Let me You're explain. The okay, let I, me got, explain. I got a fun reaction to this, but keep going with your horseshit. I think. Okay, remember <laughs> it. Uh, if I'm in a room with a chimpanzee, it's all white no windows and it's not coming right at me right it's going to take some time to like work itself up and get and i think in that time i could figure out where my first strike is gonna be and really just kind of go at it so you're just giving it up until that point to begin thinking about where you're gonna hit this thing i would honestly try to want to you haven't even you know, thought of it yet. Yeah, anybody, we, anybody in jail. Again, we do this all the time. Anybody in jail listening to this is like, what are you, crazy? It's not that bad in here. <laughs> Hilarious story. I think I might be able to find it. Or maybe Nicole can look it up. Because Nate Bargatze and I have name drop, have texted it to each other before. I'd have to go through all my texts. There's a famous story from a golfer. He's like not a famous golfer, but he's a pro golfer. Southern guy. He's from, you know, Redneck. And he told a story one time. He was at a fair or a carnival in like Alabama. And there was a sign that said 50 bucks 
win 50 bucks, fight a chimp, win 50 bucks. And him and his buddies were like, all right, somebody has to do it. So they pooled the money together. Somebody has to do it. We got a, one of us has to do it. So they each put in 10 bucks. He tells the story. It's one of the funniest stories I've ever heard. He comes up to the chimp. He goes, all right, I'm going to fake left and throw right. And so he walked up. I fake left and I woke up in a truck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. He looked at it was like the Wizard of Oz. Like all four of his friends are just staring down at him. He's in like the bed of a truck. Oh my oh God. My a chip God. will ruin your life. Like <laughs> immediately. Oh, huh. They're, they're, they're like a hundred times stronger than us. Yeah, that's yeah. true. They're all muscle. They're like human ants. And also, even if you punch them. Dude. If you punch one as hard as you can, and make it you're not anger. knocking out a chimp. No. It's also its teeth could bite me. Like it has it has weapons in its mouth that if I went to hit it, it would bite me. Its teeth could bite you. Yeah, that's true. You they, know op- what I mean. they operate independently. <laughs> he winds them up and then they come over. Are you done? <laughs> you know Are what? you done? He's getting angry. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Brendan's getting angry. Um, my teeth might get a bite after this. I would love to. Get <laughs> uh, just kidding. Um, love- my mouth has to rehearse. <laughs> I thought you were. I thought you were asking Dude, me to dinner. He <laughs> turned down after the accepted <laughs> Okay, no, I knew it was a joke, and yeah. it was a joke I'm, the entire I'm, time. I'm not even hungry anyway. I knew it was a joke the entire time. So <laughs> you're the idiots. The one minute thing is interesting, though. Sorry, I'm just lingering on this. No, it's it like, is. Can it's you true. run circles? Like, could exactly. you evade it? Like a like a bullfight. Now a oh, minute, yeah. I'm, a minute, Maybe. I'm pretty calm. Now it depends on the size of the room. If it's right. this room, ten by for ten. a minute, it's tough. Ten by ten. What is this? Wow. That's not. This is bigger than that. This is like probably fifth with 20, nothing in it. Twenty but by ten. With it's okay, this twenty by ten, nothing in it. I think if. Nothing no. in it for no. one no minute. Way. Room. No way. For one minute again. It all. It that all thing the, is dude, that molly could, whopping. That you. could. That could <laughs> look at. It could be like picking out like bugs out of its like leg hair and, and just look at, at and just look at you for like a minute. Or you could see you go nuts. Right. You right. know. I would but like you're to gonna go do something that's gonna piss it off. Well, I'd like to go in there with one of those little like uh like kind of like a treat like that you give a dog or something like that, like a little like pill dog pocket treat. kind of a thing. Yeah. And then just uh No, you just, get no outside pharmacy. Well, no, I'm not drugging it. Come in with lithium. I'm not drugging it. I'm just saying like just to just slow it down a bit. Like gotcha. yeah, this is this episode where the the guard dog from the junkyard dog is chasing <laughs> after Bart and I'm just picturing you myself look like a confused I'm monkey. picturing myself Myself in a room with a chimpanzee right now. This is <laughs> Brendan literally just goes. Oh. <laughs> There's the uh, the junkyard dogs running after Bart, and then he goes, "Don't worry, son, I'll slow him down." And he throws like a raw steak, and the dog just leaps and catches it and maintains momentum. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And he goes, "Oh, hurry faster, Bart! He's got a taste for meat now." <laughs> That's a great show. Can we? I love that show. Great can, program. Can we actually see a picture of a chimpanzee? Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, there's the story. Bert Kreischer. There you go. You found oh, it. With wow. Al Kanaan, last week's guest. <laughs> put in like a dollar. Oh, Man, there's five. It wasn't a ring. I'll put in a dollar. And they're, he's like, you know, we should try to do it. Like, and so Boo has to go do it. Boo was a, he's a big guy. Oh, and the and monkey so has Boo's gloves like, on. All right, I'll do it. So Boo gets in there. Oh, it's orangutan. a orangutan. is so much. An orangutan? And uh, <laughs> so he goes in. He says, so, so he's, he tells us, he says, he goes in and he's like, all right. So he's like, I'm going to fake right and go left. And that's what I'll do. And the orangutan just standing there, his arms hanging down, like not even <laughs> just he's circling him, and the orangutan just kind of moves in a circle with him. Yeah. So he goes, all right. So he fakes right, and then the next thing he knows, he wakes up in the back of his buddy's <laughs> truck. Because <laughs> <laughs> the orangutan knocks. I'm. I'm g- <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm <laughs> so glad we did that. Remember it. All right. All right. All right. In his buddy's truck, <laughs> and they called him Glass Jaw. It's the same exact story. <laughs> and then they said they just sat and watched this orangutan. That's why are you looking at me, dudes? All day. <laughs> How angry you just got. I thought we were all in agreement because I looked at Feeney and he was like, yeah. So I was like, okay, time to speak. And then I said it and you got upset. So I was more concise than Bargatze's. I will say, yeah. I liked your no telling fat. of it. Thank you. It was good. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Anyway, hey, can we hear that monkey story again? <laughs> I want to hear it one more time. Hey, can All you right. tell the story? We're done. Down? All right. I'm going to tell the story this time. <laughs> so there's a monkey. <laughs> I do want to see a picture of a chimpanzee, though, just to, like, really see what this thing looks like, and then we'll move on. What? I want to see a picture of a chimpanzee. They're smaller than orangutans. Yeah, but I want... I, yeah. Maybe, I want maybe, maybe I'm way off. Maybe I was thinking orangutan the whole time. These things, Orangutans but, are huge. But the huge. chimpanzee is what ripped that lady's face off and her hands off from yeah. her arm uh, and her eyelids that. off. It's also in the movie... Uh, what's the most recent Jordan Peele movie? That's oh, chimpanzee. Uh, oh, yeah. What was that? A 
up or above. Yeah, that was crazy. Up, up, up and away, I think. <laughs> All right, well, let's. Whoa! Oh, dude, yeah, that thing. Dude. Look, at <laughs> Look at its hand. That is caving your skull in in seconds. Oh my god. It's, yeah, if it's angry, it's there's no chance. And he'll, he'll, they run so fast. Right, you can't even see its eyes. Wow, you can't we are see really your eyes. related to monkeys. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're, we're, we're not so dude, different, you and Brandon's I. Brandon's face and this monkey's <laughs> face are not far off. <laughs> No. Look at no, look at your eyebrow furrow. You don't even no. need to do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This next question comes from Cerna Style. Here's the scenario. Eggs. If you could only eat eggs prepared one way for the rest of your life, what would it be? Eggs, huh? Scrambled. Easy. Scrambled, huh? See, I have uh I think uh I, I I'm not a big egg guy, but what I do love. Or is, is eggs Benedict? So I love a poached egg. Ugh. I also think a poached egg, even on an egg sandwich, would be a good time, because then you get the runniness of it if you wanted to. I would fucking take my own life and my family's life if I had to eat <laughs> eggs for the rest of my life. I uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of eggs. It's just like the, it gets so tiresome. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. Like it's just a a recurring taste that's just not that good. But we're kind of convincing ourselves sucks. that it's good with hot sauce. The smell yeah. sucks, and the they insist upon themselves. Yeah, they really do. <laughs> I like over easy though. Put over easy over like a couple of green. What is that? Is that what the it's very insides, runny. It's even more runny, it's runny, runny than poached. It's runny. It's like mucusy white. But part. poached is with the hollandaise sauce. You don't have to have shit. no. The hollandaise sauce is that's part of eggs Benedict. But poached eggs is just a it's just it's a different. Style. What is that? What's poached eggs? You cook it in water, so it's like poached, so it doesn't get all. Why are you making that face? I don't like that. You don't even know why you don't like that. <laughs> I heard it. <laughs> you make it in water. <laughs> I reacted. And I, th I think. And my, I committed. I think <laughs> and I'm going to die on this hill. What about water grossed you out? Putting an egg in water is gross. Isn't that gross? Am I the only one that thinks it's kind of. I don't know and then gross. eating it, hard boiled egg. Yeah, that looks good. No, that looks That's good. over easy. That's poached. Those are poached. <laughs> oh, I guess I like that. <laughs> That's over easy. Yeah. Poached. That's poached. That's poached egg. You can tell because the yolk. I is completely covered. retract my opinion. <laughs> it looks like little Pac Man's eating. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but what is over easy? Over easy looks like that, but the sun. Oh, sunny side up. Yeah, but it's I don't got know the all fringe, of like the labia fringe. Sunny the side up means curtains. that the that the yolk is uh, is up facing up. You you know what I mean? That's the sunny. Have a yolk. It won't kill you. Uh, <laughs> Seinfeld. Um, the scrambled is the easy. Scrambled is the most frequent because you go to a, a cafeteria. It just has the scrambled thing. You can put it on a bagel. You can put it on toast. I don't know. Scrambled I always looks so like it looks like cafeteria shit. Like it looks like something that's like, oh, yeah, I should be having like tater tots with this or something. That sounds fantastic. I'm not often convinced <laughs> it's real eggs when I'm eating scrambled. Yeah, that's true. And bad. scrambled also does a thing where it's like there's that there comes to the point where it's too crumbly where you can't get enough on your fork. You know what I mean? You like you try to can't scoop it enough. and it's falling can't off the enough. sides. Scoop the niblets. Yeah. Mm. Just assume I'm doing Seinfeld references. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, maybe it's it a fun me. thing to say. By the way, if like if you do a joke that doesn't work and you're like Seinfeld, you just say, yeah, yeah, just, you go, yeah, that's one of his. Yeah, it's a deep cut from season five. You, you wouldn't, yeah, you, you yeah, guess yeah, you didn't yeah. see that one. Weird. I guess you don't like the most popular show of all time. <laughs> mm. Not how many people watched it the last episode? Ninety million. Ninety million people. Yeah. Canon hates Seinfeld. The TV show? No. Both. He loves the show. No, that's not true. I like the TV show. I was just telling the story about you seeing Seinfeld when I smelled <laughs> was the sand. best. Dude. It was the worst. What happened uh, at the uh, at Collins one man show? Yeah. Would you like to tell it, or do you want me to take over? <laughs> uh, well, now it feels like uh, you tell it. Do you want to tell the group? <laughs> well, so we were all hanging out in a circle. It's like me, Joe, Mateo, uh, Sarah, Chris Stefano, and uh, Seinfeld is up there, and he came up to Chris and said something complimentary about Chris, as right. everyone does. You're very stop, happy. Stop, stop. He said, hello, Christopher. That's what he said. Oh, he didn't, <laughs> say, didn't he say keep up the good work? Uh, maybe. All right. Well, maybe, <laughs> maybe I added that. I mean, Chris has got enough going on. He said, hi, Christopher. <laughs> okay. So he said, hello, Christopher, and shook his hand, and then, like, kind of took, like, a half step past him. And Joe hilariously grabs Chris's hand and starts, like, sniffing it like an excited like, dog. Give me that hand, yeah. Jerry. <laughs> oh. And Joe, like, looks up, like, happy, and I'm like, he's, like, right there, dude. And then I look over, I just hear him, like, what's the deal with this guy? <laughs> and Mike says, swears he saw me, which I feel terrible. At least it's funny. <laughs> At least it's, like, a 
jokey thing, but yeah. um, it's not. It's but not you can good. see him yeah. being turned <laughs> off by it. Yeah, I'm yeah. surprised you yeah. haven't met him with run-ins with either like Mark or Louie, You know. Well, I I met him um, briefly. I was emceeing for Burr, and he did a guest spot. So I brought Jerry on stage once, and then we watched Burr from the back. We were standing next to each other. But I didn't, I wasn't like, how about this burr? Huh? <laughs> like I didn't force anything. And then at Colin's wedding, he was, we were on the dance floor next to each other. And I did do the Elaine kicks next to him, but he wasn't looking. Oh I thought that was funny. God, um, that's so funny. That's so so funny. Oh, I bet great. that's the one I bet he saw. <laughs> he, like, he sees everything. He's like, this guy's such a is, is weirdo, the, man. Is this the hand smelling guy? Smelling my hand. Um, so I've been in the room with him a couple times, but I don't know him, know him. And another time. Is this the hand smelling guy? Years and years ago, I stayed on Colin's couch. This is like. 18 years ago or something. And the next day he was going to meet Seinfeld. And I was like six years in. And I remember thinking like, here we go. <laughs> and uh, Colin was like, I know what you're thinking. You can't come hit, hate you. I'm not bringing you. I was like, okay, hate you. Great. Um, so those are my Jerry he'd, run it. By the time in like five years, it'd be like bringing Brendan yeah. or something. You're like, yeah, 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 yeah. I can't, yeah. I can't have you come I along. I yeah. Yeah. I yeah. 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 <laughs> Like, like us, doing a lane. podcast with the guy. By the way, your hair. I told you this the other day. You like never look better. Yeah, I I it really it. looks Thanks. good. Yeah, really fantastic. It's more Zach Morrissey than ever. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, uh, went, went to Phoenix uh, Salon. Uh, every every compliment he gets about the hair does kind of warm my heart. Yeah, it feels yeah, like yeah, a half yeah. compliment. It looks <laughs> unbelievable. Son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, that's what it you also, did to yourself by taking his recommendation. I also I felt know. vindicated. That's why I've never watched a show you've told me. I know. About. And every time he does, he's like, it's just great. <laughs> I've uh, I've gotten I've been vindicated by years of him personally making fun of me for going to salons versus barbershops. And then he went to the salon once and he's like, everything's different. Yeah. He's they like, really take care of you there. <laughs> it looks amazing. It's like, yeah. he's like they're hot thing. women. Right. They're re massaging your hair. It yeah. smells so she, good. She went Shh, in my ear. <laughs> she, she went, it's going to be all okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, she didn't. What were you doing? Your act? <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, <"Shh."> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Clip it. That's, <laughs> a yeah, cool that's, clip. A clip. that's a real, that's getting at least 12,000. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's another one from TJ. This is Miller. Good, this is a good one. TJ Miller <laughs> yeah. writes in, if you had a bottle, uh, no, okay. <laughs> TJ says, would you rather survive in the woods alone or be responsible for the survival of a whole group of people during the inevitable apocalypse? Responsible. Oh, the leader, the Rick Grimes. I would love that one because yeah. this yeah, surviving you, like, in the roads. <laughs> you're the first one out. I turn everyone against you. Yeah, he's piggy. A hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Brendan's fucking head is on a pike by day two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Smiling. Just <laughs> hair looks great though. Yeah. yeah right. There's a comb in my hair <laughs> with the business card of the salon. <laughs> your, your neck blood. <laughs> But I, uh, I would not want to survive alone. Being alone in general, let alone alone in the woods in isolation, is uh, yeah. Is and then all your, anytime you hear any noise, it's a threat on your life. No matter what, what could it be? It could be a bear, a cougar, a person, uh, yeah, a group of people coming to take my little cabin in the woods. Fuck that. <laughs> I feel like you could learn how to be at peace with the alone in the woods. Yeah. How long do you think it takes you to go full Mowgli and like start hissing at sounds and just like <laughs> crawling on all fours, and, like wearing just a loincloth? You're like Vern and Stand By Me when he's got the gun. This is a movie from my generation. But it's very funny. Great film. I don't think I ever saw Stand By Me. Oh, it's really? A great movie. Yeah. I know the oh. song and I know there's a railroad. Yeah, and, and a dead body and a fat Isn't, Jerry yeah, O'Connell. Keith and Keith and Sutherland. Keith and Keith and Keith and. Keith and Ivory Wayans. Kiefer. <laughs> Kiefer Sutherland. And John Cusack. John Cusack. And River Phoenix, right? Yeah. River Phoenix. Yeah. Dead, huh. Old dead RP. R.I.P. Yeah. But. River and Phoenix. I don't know. Fuck. It's pretty good. It wasn't bad. Um, the. It wasn't great. The thing, though, about running a, a, a big group of people is like, there's so much pressure, man. You see what that shit did to Tony Soprano. You couldn't. You couldn't do it. I think I could. You without being assassinated. I, I'll be a leader <laughs> right now. You're gay. <laughs> As a leader's gay. And leadership. I'm gay. <laughs> and we're gonna kiss. <laughs> you could go right into your Trump though. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just go. Ladies and gentlemen, we're in the apocalypse. Wow. <laughs> Joe came up to me, tears in his eyes. 
He said, That's very good. Sir, sir. Are you kidding? I'm not kidding. Oh, okay. The hair very color, good. everything, everything about it. Sir. We're in the apocalypse. You need to do something. I said, wow. I think that's incredible. Are you the, kidding? Of course it's me. <laughs> Very I'm just going to keep going. Not even acknowledge. And then, and then you go, oh. Uh, not even acknowledge uh, that they're not supporting it me. It just sucks. You don't need them. The that this is going to be the next year of our lives. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's now. uncanny. It's, it's uncanny. Yeah. <laughs> it's only I figured canny. that if I could have done that. Years and years. And yeah, years. 2016 to 2020. Yeah. You would have. He's always in the news, though. That's not going to go away. He's in the news. <laughs> He's always in the news. Yeah, it's wow. fun, right? There you go. He, I'm always in the news. I say, wow, look at the news. It's crazy. I mean, that's like as good as anybody. Ever <laughs> said. Oh, Maybe it should, it should get Brendan banished from Vegas. You have, there's so many people you have yet to see do impressions it's, of. That's Trump. crazy. I mean, I think that's you know, very good. Thank you. Thank you for the support. Yeah. Have you seen Shane's? Uh yeah, he's very good too. <laughs> yeah, he's just good. But he Bob De Bonos, the guy from Bonos SNL, the guy yeah. from SNL. Really good. Can it all be good? First no. of all, Shane is like a comedic, ge- a once in a generation talent. Yeah. So he does that. You're like, okay, this is like a borderline retarded person <laughs> nailing something. <laughs> yeah. He's found something. Don't you see? And I'm gonna die. But isn't that isn't hell. that sort of like nailing a Christopher Walken <laughs> impression where you're like, it's an unfortunate yeah. thing that it's not a Yeah, but it's also like let him let him do the Christopher Walken. Well, he's got the hair colors close. And the yeah. eye I mean <laughs> it's, I, do it. it's, I think it's better than you're giving it credit <laughs> Can't for. Can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole, is that a good Trump or what? Yeah, I feel like some of the like quick mannerisms he does. <laughs> there it is. It's not a bad one. You guys I are think, all gonna like regret this. Here's idiots. The thing. It's not the worst one I've ever seen. Not I think at all. it's 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 pretty good. But I'm just I'm grossed out by the fact that you got it now. <laughs> that uh, that in twenty twenty three. Because of Lev Burke. Because no, I was, no, 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 was the no, one that he gave him the confidence. Brendan has been tinkering with this socially for months. We were doing it at Moon Tower. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I really started. Yeah, it just happened at Moon Tower. That's very good. You're all gonna feel like idiots. Me? No, not you. I'm saying. It's well, maybe fantastic. a little bit. When what? What's the big payoff? When we realize that I'm a comedic genius. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I want to come up. Can I come up with a here's the situation? Yeah. Yeah. Scenario. Yeah. Scenario. Wait, scenario, yeah. scenario, whatever. Sorry. I don't know. <laughs> HTS. Uh, I'm looking at the, the sign. I can't, I'm cheating and I can't find the name. Of the <laughs> Brendan <laughs> gets SNL in 2024 and blows up as Donald Trump. <laughs> and I'm the new Donald Trump. <laughs> if that happens, dude, I I'll swear. Kill yeah, no, no, I'll you kill won't. Myself. Why would you kill yourself? That would, that would be, be amazing. The, that's the way to go. You think it's getting any better? <laughs> it's Sagalomania. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to see my. Uh, Let him demise. finish this thing. Yeah, I mean, keep going. Or do you have a kid? Yeah. Both your children die. Those are one of the. <laughs> you can see there. You have to choose. Saglo, huge star. Yeah. Massive star. SNL takes over the world. He's Does it help day. this podcast, or do they still not? No, he leaves it? you guys in the dust. Uh, okay. He's okay. on SNL. Actually, you know say. what? Just to get you off the show, that would be worth it. I'm actually. I would. Yeah, I would like to see him succeed. Uh, Thanks. It would. It would, uh, it would win me a lot of Vegas bets. I bet. Uh, I bet. Uh, the, it's the. <laughs> What? <laughs> I'm more upset that you have a gambling thing that he's <laughs> betting on you. Yeah. Wasn't that what that meant? Yeah, I don't like yeah. to see my friends have because the odds are addiction. You know? oh, so you're you're telling him it's a bad bet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You bet with your fucking head, dude. <laughs> Not your Brendan Sagalow. <laughs> I come out of I'm also hosting. I should have came up with a better HTS. Than no, I like that. No, no, that was good. All right. <laughs> oh, I went with there's also show. plenty of time. Yeah. I went with yeah, we got, we got yeah, I'll come time. up with something better for the second one. We got plenty of time here. Uh, Kelly. Festuka. Festuka writes in and says, hey, here's the scenario. Hey, everybody. Oh, SNL is called. SNL, here we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Two here impressions. We go. I got two of them. <laughs> how many musical guests? How many Brendan Sagal. <laughs> Say plus, daddy the God. Plus Robert De Niro if he doesn't have to talk. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, that'd be cool. 
This is a character. That's good. Yeah. yeah there I'm you go. I'm telling you. I'm an impressions <laughs> guy. You're setting us back years. <laughs> yeah, I did. Years. You are. Well, to be fair, the DiCaprio sucks. Monas tried to sell me on his DiCaprio. What's the DiCaprio? It's All right. Awful. It is. Well, now that, you know, okay, it's there's a little terrible. pressure. Wait, you've never done a little done pressure DiCaprio because, for me before. Well, because he's been workshopping it. I thought okay, it was good. Else. And then Joe told me it was terrible and that I should die. You and shut like, it down? And it really, yeah, it really shut me down. Where was that but, 10 minutes ago? This was at Moon Tower. Mona nope. said he's got the great DiCaprio. Okay, and I don't so even, I don't I even do it. see what he's going for. I, I was getting dinner with Marty Scorsese. Something Just like that. The word Marty Scorsese, Marty Scorsese sounds Scorsese. like it. But I, I, you're also you're doing the thing tigers. that you did with Tom Hanks where you're doing an impression of that guy on TikTok who does an impression of Leo. You're Leonardo also that guy like Leo, Leo, the Tom Hanks you, guy doesn't you sound no, no. like Leo doing Jack Nichols. That's what I thought. You look like yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a little bit more of a Martin Jack Scorsese. Nicholson. Yeah. Martin Scorsese. Yeah. Martin Scorsese. Or Christian Slater. This is Scorsese. It's wild how much Slater was doing Nicholson. Yeah. It was like a star yeah. doing it. He literally had the same hair. Yeah. yeah. Hair and eyebrows. eyebrows. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's crazy. All Brad. He's good in Prince of Thieves, though. Yeah. He's good in Mr. Robot. I want to be a product of my environment. <laughs> That's not bad. That wasn't bad. Hmm. Anyway, let's let's get to Kelly's. Question, <laughs> That's the okay? one you hate. It's crazy. You can't even see. <laughs> Joe and yeah. I have just different ears. It yeah. turns out. <laughs> uh, you can do your Tom Hanks. Mm. I want to. Oh, uh, uh, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> hold on. Oh. This is that guy's though. It's the TikTok guys, but uh, I'm just copying him. But he goes, uh, goes oh, oh, God. <laughs> 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 that was close to Jimmy Stewart, I feel like. <laughs> so anyway. Mary. Mary. Don't you know me? <laughs> what do you want, Mary? You want, the, you want the moon? You want the moon, Mary? <laughs> All right, let's get to Kelly's question. All right, there. Kelly. Okay. Uh, yeah, you you took it off the tracks. You did a Fistuka impression. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Cannon is loose. That's true. <laughs> I can barely keep it together, dude. This is my favorite episode. I think. <laughs> cool. Uh, you go back favorite in time. Girl. What? What? You bitch. You go back in time and can be either Al Capone or Pablo Escobar. Which life are you leading and why? It's literally not even close. Pablo, Escobar, Pablo Escobar was such a more yeah. national boss than fucking Al Capone. Al Capone had the fucking Jersey Shore. <laughs> yeah, but Al Capone yeah. does have, and I think I'll take Pablo Escobar too, but, but, uh, but Al Capone did have that fun, like, it's almost like bootleggers and gambling. It's like when you watch, like, if you're being like a, a good fella type of guy where you're like, it's like gambling and booze and cigarettes and like all the, there's no all denying that that's And in Chicago and you're, you know what I mean? It feel, and you're a crime family, you're running this, this this new right. country that's 150 years old it's called America. But did Capone ever buy his own soccer team to play against another cartel soccer team? Like that's he just yeah, that's so, so much more stuff. money. Yeah, There's yeah. So, so much, much more. more. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Uh, Capone probably had like 30 grand. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Escobar is like a billionaire, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> hundreds of millions of dollars a month. Did yeah, it's kind of hard to compare the two. Did he ever go to Rough jail, questions. Pablo Escobar? Did Did he ever get like? Yeah, hot, he got he, he got he got, went in jail, but they built the jail to be almost like his own compound yeah, resort. Yeah. So right. he was running the cartel from inside the prison, and then he had like so much influence over the national police that the escape he got out and uh yeah didn't he get gunned down on a roof yep. somewhere yeah in by the, yeah 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 by the da yeah dea dea what's da the district, district attorney, attorney. <laughs> yeah <laughs> harvey dent like a guy in a Gunner, suit Pablo yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um yeah it's not even a i mean yeah it's pablo escobar yeah yeah because did you see you ever see that little cell that Capone stayed in in Chicago. I don't think so. You ever no. see that? It's a little cell, <laughs> not a big cell. <laughs> it's like a famous uh, that sounds jail like Larry cell. David doing Trump. Yeah. If I could write for you, I think it would actually be. that sounds like Bernie yeah, a little bit. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. We'll, we're gonna. We'll. Uh, what? <laughs> Please I'll, write his audition. <laughs> I'll take some. Uh, yeah, I'll take your your. I'll take. I'll take your packet. I'll look at it. All right. I really hate myself. <laughs> what? I don't know why. <laughs> no, same. Really hate myself. Not you. I hate me. <laughs> but I like you. I like you too. <laughs> All right. I don't like these guys. Nicole is cool. I feel like we've been so supportive of you this entire episode. I don't know why I said we. I. What do you mean? <laughs> you should sit like this more. <laughs> you led the. He's. This is a terrible impression. Well, because I'm just helping him. That's true. Yeah. 
by not you're leading him on. You're letting me see on. my weight. Yeah, yeah, by not leading him on. I think you look great. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, you look great. You know what also is great? Leaving us five-star reviews on iTunes and stuff like that. And seeing us all live and coming out. Thank you very much. Yeah. And coming out and supporting us in every way uh, possible. What do you got, Joe? What do you want to plug? When does this come out? Next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. All right. I will be... Um, oh, where am I going to be next Wednesday? My sister's ass. I can't remember. <laughs> uh, well, uh, June 1st to the 3rd. Spokane. Jeremy Spokane <laughs> Comedy Club. June 1st to the 3rd. Hollywood Improv, June 7th. Columbus Funny Bone, June 16th and 17th. ComedianJoeList.com. And please subscribe to my YouTube. I got another special yes. coming on on YouTube. I'm putting a bunch of stuff. That's where it's nice. at. When please. is it coming out? Do you know yet? I don't know. Possibly August. I have to avoid Mark's. Mark's is late July, so I might actually go after him. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, uh, nice. So, yeah, probably, probably August, I'm thinking. I don't have Sick. a cut of it yet, so. Oh, fingers crossed. Yeah. Why do you have to come in, dude? We are, it's no, like, no, it's I'm, like a I'm, weird time. We all have to like work around each other. I'm, uh, huh. I'm probably filming in in the fall. Oh, nice. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. MikeCannonComedy.com for tickets. <laughs> uh, May 25th, I'm going to be in East Providence, Rhode Island, at the Comedy Connection. Then on May 27th, I'm in Rhode Island, Newport, Rhode Island, for the Rogue Island Comedy Festival, doing two shows at the Jane Pickens Theater. Fun. And then. Uh, June 9th and 10th, I'm in Boston at Laugh Boston. Come out to that. And uh, yeah, Phoenix, Houston, you name it. Going to be all over the road. MikeCannonComedy.com for tickets. Hell yeah. Woo! What about you, Fiend Dog? MikeFeenyComedy.com. Please come out to Laugh Boston June 2nd and 3rd. Grab your tickets to that now. Again, available on my website. Uh, also, in July, going to be in Seattle, uh, Los Angeles, Portland, uh, Escondido. Uh, and, oh, blah, blah. And, and more. It's just, uh, it's a city in between San Diego and Los Angeles. Nice. Yeah, at the Grand Comedy Club. So, and I'm going to be doing uh, doing a show at the Belly Room at the Comedy Store. So come see that, people in L.A. And all that stuff, MikeFinnyComedy.com. But also, come see us live together. Yeah. Without Joe. Uh, at, uh, unless, unless you want to come. Yeah, yeah you're welcome to come. September, what are your plans? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> the Algonquin Theater in uh, New Jersey. Manasquan. Manasquan live New podcast Jersey. and live stand-up. Yeah, there's yes, going to be a fun out. one. Buy some tickets. Yeah. Uh, it's on all of our websites. That's, that's all I want to promote. And my YouTube. <laughs> oh, I'm also actually going to be in Cleveland in June. I totally forgot about that. June 8, uh, 9th and 10th, I'll be in Cleveland doing secret society comedy nice. shows around the around nice. the city. So that'll be fun. So again, go to my website. All right. And also, if you want to check up on like, check up, if you want to catch up on 300 hours of content from the two years that we did a Patreon, go to patreon.com slash scenario pod and check it out. There's a lot of really great fun stuff. The Blunts with the Boys episode, yeah. like legendary. We uh, also just remembered Coffee with Mark and Brander. Coffee with Mark and be Brander. <laughs> Brendan and I's uh, podcast together when we were on the road. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hotels, laying in bed yeah. together. Kissing. In robes, kissing. Kissing. Uh, and you also, oh, and Nicole. Nicole C. Lines on Instagram and subscribe to the YouTube at Here's the Scenario. Yeah. Subscribe to the YouTube at Here's the Scenario. Let's get back into the question. Let's get back into the question. Dude. This one comes from TJ. Miller. Again? TJ Miller. TJs? Yeah, this is the TJ last TJ. How many this fans is, do you guys have? We have about five. <laughs> <laughs> You've made a mistake. All, this is all of them. You've made the mistake of coming on. We have we have about 11 active Patreon members who typically write the content of this show. And then everybody, <laughs> and then everybody else just watches. We do have a we have do, we do a lot have of looky loos. Instagram. Yeah. A lot of looky loos. Looky. This is on YouTube, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <sighs> Oh no! This is Patreon only. Oh, you thought you were episode. here for just the paywall? Uh, no, no. I'm like, I just want to make sure. You know. No, it's like Stavro. I went to Stavros's pod, biggest pod ever. The guy sells fucking. They 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 drain the ocean to build bleachers for his show, <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, he puts me on the Patreon. I've known uh, the guy twenty years. Wow. Patreon only hurts. I got fan emails from him. Literally, he's like, "My name's Stavros, and I think you're the tops." <laughs> and then I do his podcast, and I'm I'm straight to Patreon. <laughs> I'm a fucking VHS guest. <laughs> oh my god! VH guest. Oh uh, man. Dude. Yeah, that's uh, that's so work. funny. Uh, you can make one thing that annoys you le illegally. What do you choose? A noise? Something that annoys you illegal? Yeah, right? that's what he's saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Like I could make your comedy illegal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this one's going up on Patreon. <laughs> Okay. By the way, the Patreon's kind of a compliment because in his in his mind, maybe he's like, 
people will sign up to hear Joe List. Is yeah. that possible? Yeah, Maybe. and plus yeah. he also has a, I assume he has That's a true. massive Patreon, so even then you're still getting a lot of, a ton of, uh, and and those are like the diehards, you know what I mean? Right, yeah. right. Really those are be, people that are proven spenders. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. It's almost better. That's how I'd spin it. Yeah. Huh. You hear uh, that? It's looky looky lose? Down, though. Yeah. <laughs> left a lot on the table in terms of audience. I suck. So what is it? What is one thing that you can make <laughs> that annoys you? And uh, don't say anything more that hurts me or I'll flip out. <laughs> well, you can make it illegal. <laughs> yeah, you can make something illegal. <laughs> flip what would it no. be? Yeah. Oh, I think I know. <laughs> I think I know mine. Oh, I know mine too. Um, me too. And I'm not saying. <laughs> Just from you figuring yours out, I figured mine out. I don't know what mine is. I think the motorcycle scooter. The yeah. Yeah. Right, right. Oh, yeah. That, that's good. That's that was a good fucking nonsense. That and, and big diesel engines, but I understand maybe they're for a good cause. Someone will write yeah. me. Off, like an idling 18 wheeler. But also, what's that? with the motorcycles that do the like the gunshot? Yeah, no, that's, that's the oh, exhaust yeah. of like a lot <laughs> of those, of like a lot of the low riders. That's what I was going to say. The, the exhaust, the, the, that kind of a thing oh, that sounds nice. like that. That's coming off the exhaust. Run uh, that back one more time. <laughs> It's, uh, that was impressive. That was yeah, it's, it's it's the worst, and it makes me duck for cover in right. my home. Uh, I truly hate that. That's one of my least favorite. At least like the the like the stupid dirt bikes that make like like at least that you're like that's just a shitty engine in the thing. That is like they added that <laughs> mod to yeah, their yeah. car to purposely make it sound like right. loud gunshots, and that's why that sucks. Yeah, I mean, I would either way it annoys me. Even if the one you're like, oh, that's just a shitty engine, it's like it's still fucking so annoying. Don't ever ride it if it makes that sound. Oh, I thought that was outside. You know what I I thought of? What? And I know you got a joke about this. That's why I thought of it. Okay. But my dad fucking does this too. When people yawn and they uh. go, that I, noise, not the. Yeah, my joke is about I, that. You're talking about oh, really? vampires or something. <laughs> <laughs> about cats hissing at me. Do the that's noise what, again. That's what my dad does, and my fucking. Uber driver was doing it the other night too. Do it again. Where you know, I, I felt kind of bad. I was like, oh, "This guy's tired," but stop making that sound. Where you go, you said that? <laughs> no, of course not. Oh. I was just like, you know, scratching at the back of my fucking eyes. Where you go, <laughs> I like that. I don't know that. No, I've almost never. I, I wish I could call before. my. Yeah, I've definitely heard it before, but it's funny because it very clearly only makes you mad because your father. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. And it has way more to do with your relationship with him than the <laughs> actual act of breathing. Right. You do a Heath Ledger Joker. Yeah. And I hated my father. My father. No, I can't. Jack better Nicholson than again. Yours, <laughs> yours, <laughs> I think mine is better. My father. Yours is Jack great. Nicholson. <laughs> you remind me of my father. Yeah, that's he good. I hated my father. He, Mike does a really good. He uh, was a fiend. <laughs> that's not bad. My father. <laughs> You looked for a joke. I really did. I, for for that, buddy. I no, hate your uh, you look bad. Of impression. <laughs> That's not bad. <laughs> he looked at Joe for approval and Joe went like this. He turned yeah. his head. Yeah, cold shoulder. Well, looked, dude. I wasn't sure You're if you were going to do oh, one. I was right. My saving. armpits are pissing cold sweat now because of that moment. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I and then who, like was, your who was the other guy that was kind of sounded like Connery? The other bad guy. You Bane. think the darkness is your ally. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What is that? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I, I just started warming up my lips. <laughs> he goes, uh, I was born in the darkness. I was um, wondering what would break first, <laughs> your spirit or your body. That's fantastic. Yeah. There you hey, go. All right, really. All right. Body was good. good. Your body yeah, was really there it good. Is. Yeah. Body. Was anyone in Montreal with the, that year that came out? I think it was 2012. We were all doing Bane. It was like me, Soder, Greg Stone. <laughs> And maybe just the three of us. We couldn't stop talking like that. It's, oh, wait, I keep doing Yoda. You're using Yoda. <laughs> Yoda. Uh, <laughs> that's good. Mm, you seek Yoda. Damn. Which is very close to Miss Piggy, both Frank Oz. Oh, yeah. Mm, Kermit. It is very funny when someone's like a prolific voice actor and it's like all their voices sound the same. Like Nancy Cartwright, I she did like Bart Simpson. Mm -hmm. She's like, here are all my voices. And it's like, here's, it's basically like, Old Bart, young Bart. Oh, she also does Nelson and uh, right, but it all kind of. I watched Maggie. her master class and she. Was, it was all like it was all just. Oh, Bart. I remember your master class phase. You watched. I her still master watch master classes. Yeah. Wow. 
to the customer. Not like a retard like you called me. Did you call me a retard? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, maybe I said borderline retard. Yeah. Something. Yeah. So. I qualified it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You, you have an electric fence keeping you in. <laughs> <laughs> like, but I've said way more Ow. nice than bad. I yeah. thought the hair, the Trump. He said he said a lot of nice all things. It takes, he also slammed you harder than any of us. All, all it takes on is one so bad. It's been a yeah. very. It's, he's been a very uh, love. I don't know what. You're, I don't know yeah. what he's doing psychologically. You're love bombing me. Wow. Wow. Meditating. You're meditating. love bombing yeah. me. Well, I really like you. You're guys. putting Brendan through the dentist system. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's <laughs> let's do some more questions. Like you, I do. <laughs> <laughs> This one comes from Ryan Wilson over at Instagram. The Beach Boys guy? again. Yeah, that's Brian. That's Brian. Great documentary. Another Feeny Hello. thing. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> You're half giving him credit for the film. Yeah, no, really, because yeah, he wasn't yeah. gonna watch it. He was, what did you say? You were like another Feeny it. production. You're, it was. It was <laughs> either I was gonna watch that documentary or like Liar Liar or, something. or watch like, a movie you had seen over again. Yeah, yeah, you liar, liar. That and it was a good. And time. it was a great movie. Yeah, you should watch that documentary. I watched it already. <laughs> I didn't need Feeny to tell me to watch the Brian Wilson doc. <laughs> I know about the Brian Wilson doc. I saw it at Tribeca <laughs> Film Festival with <laughs> Brian Wilson <laughs> sitting there next to me, shaking. Scared. That scared. reminds me of when I hung out with Paul McCartney and I asked him about Brian Wilson. What okay. did he say? Hey, here we go. <laughs> now I know you were doing a thing, but I would love if that was true and what he said. Well, I've told the story many times, so I don't want to, you know, ruin uh, another show by telling it some other place. No, here, but you should the tell the story and then we'll play Nate Bargetti <laughs> telling the, the story yeah. again. Not as well as me. Here's a short <laughs> version. Okay, babe. Is Trump. <laughs> you okay, babe. Dennis, <laughs> Dennis, Dennis, Dennis Trump. <laughs> wow. Dennis wow. Trump. But the, the short version is I saw Brian Wilson years ago and he introduced God only knows at saying this is Paul McCartney's favorite song. Like he told the crowd. Wow. He's like, this is Paul McCartney's favorite song. So then I met Paul McCartney 20 years later and I had my, this is my in. I said, I saw Brian Wilson. He introduced God only knows as being your favorite song. Is it your favorite song? There you go. And then Paul very diplomatically said, well, it's a very good song, you know. <laughs> and then he went into a bunch of stories that I, of course, knew because I've, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, well, Brian, he left, the bed. he was in bed for months writing pet song. And I was like, no, I know, you fucking idiot. <laughs> I was like, and then we released Sergeant Pepper. And I was like, yeah, everyone knows that. Funny or getting into a conversation with Paul McCartney and like being like trying to get out of it is hilarious. Which is also like, kind of crazy because he was in such a, I think, you know, uh, he talks about, they talk about it in the documentary, he was in such a competition with the Beatles where yeah. it was like, talk about like a fight. He just never stood it. Like, I don't even think the Beatles knew they were in a fight, you know Like, and it wasn't even a competition. Like where it was like, it was like, Oh, it's me versus this guy. Right. And you're like, it's not, it's like Metallica and Megadeth where you're like, it's not a competition, yeah, no, you know, but both made music. Yeah, they sure did. <laughs> and he was a huge influence on the Beatles. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something which they send the documentary. That we all seen. All of us. Every Independently. Of us. I've never seen Independently it. of our I own won't. choices. Yeah, don't watch it. <laughs> and I, Fuck won't. These guys. I do like the idea, though, of you getting into a conversation with Paul McCartney and him telling you stories that you've seen in a documentary and you're just like slowly yeah. backing out you're of like, it. You're like, I actually have to go to the bathroom. He's like, oh, oh I have to go to the bathroom too. <laughs> you're like, Fuck. Fuck. God damn it. I have to shit. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go out for a smoke. Uh, if, you know, I haven't smoked uh, in a while. I don't put <laughs> Maybe I'll go out with you. What are you doing Tuesday? <laughs> <laughs> you're like, Jesus, man, come on, lay off. <laughs> then he started telling me about, he tell, told me about his wife and how great she is. And I said, yeah, she loves you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's funny. Uh, hey. nice. Did she like that? And then to, just to get him to walk away, he went, oh, <laughs> Seinfeld told me about you. <laughs> <laughs> is that the oh, hands? Really, really bad, McCartney. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I only it's got only got worse. He told me about it's you. It's been all <laughs> It's been Australian. Noble, he's a like a noble British guy. Yeah, he's like a blue collar guy, you dipshit. He's like, uh, whatever. Uh, I don't mind to say dipshit. I take back the dipshit. No, I don't care. You made him proper. <laughs> hey, well, hey, hello. Yeah. Ooh. He's from like what? He's from, he's from uh, Liverpool. Uh, Liverpool. 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 In your mind. What? Like that. That's Oasis. Yeah. That did sound like Oasis. Um, okay. Ryan Wilson. <laughs> That's how we got there. What if we started the whole thing? <laughs> That's how we fucking got there. Could you imagine? That was eight minutes. Whoa, crazy. Here's the scenario. Dr. Frankenstein is making a new monster and is robbing your graves. Whose head does he choose for the monster? 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 
<laughs> so all three of you are dead. <laughs> Let's make you it all four. You are yeah. too. You're dead. You're I'm dead, dead too. Yeah. You're out of yeah. here. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to be dead. Who, whose head? Whose head? Whose torso? Whose legs? Whose arms? Who's all that stuff? To but, make a monster. I don't want my hands. I would rather us not have my hands. There's very little of your body we're going to use. <laughs> The hair, baby. <laughs> the hair. Yeah, it's just that. Uh, yeah. That would be great. We'll put that in our armpits. But I'm, I mean, maybe if we're, you know, out of all of us, hair, F- Feeny will have to be the hair guy. <laughs> I'll be the hair guy. I think everyone has nice hair. Well, yours yeah. is very short. Yeah. So I don't know what you're dealing with up it's there. Fine. It's gray. Yeah. Yeah. If we wanted to make an old. <laughs> <laughs> if we wanted. <laughs> Is it like a? I stopped saying it because I regretted saying it. I was like, "This is so mean." Is it a looks older than he is monster? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that monster's got to be at least a hundred. <laughs> well, you have the best face, though. You're the oh, most thanks. handsome. Yeah. Thanks. So That's maybe okay. I mean, about, what we're taking, we're making a monster. We are making the perfect monster, basically. Yeah. <laughs> I think we'd use a ton of Joe. That is hurtful, and I'm a guest. <laughs> I'm a guest. I would like to see Joe's neck, Brendan's head, like just a longer neck leading up Mm. to the fucking St. Bernard human. Yeah. We'd use my head. I think we'd have to use your head for sure, because you definitely have a big head, a Frankenstein-esque like cylinder head. Yeah. What does that mean? It's in the shape of a cylinder. My head's in the shape of a cylinder? More like a jug of milk. (laughs) I didn't think, I didn't know this about me at all. Like, it's like this. You know what I mean? It's like, it's. Yeah. It's like a giant. Can we bring up a picture of me? <laughs> <laughs> I need to see. Brendan sees himself for the first time. <laughs> That's me. I don't own a mirror. What the fuck? Cylinder head. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, I didn't know that about myself. That okay. You have a cylinder what, head? Now, Everybody why? says that. <laughs> More of a basketball head. <laughs> but why would that be like, why is that good? Because Frankenstein also has the same style head. But we're not trying to make Frankenstein. We're trying to make, like, the perfect monster. Don't you see that he made a mistake saying cylinder and he's just uh, only because the he ball is caught up air. on it? <laughs> I didn't think, I don't know. I, I never really looked at myself. Mistake. I think we need qualifications. Are we making a scary monster or, like, an unstoppable monster? Well, what did Dr. Whoa. Frankenstein want his monster to do? Excellent question. Love him. Let's, let's. Is that right? He wanted to love him. <laughs> he wanted to make a lover, no. <laughs> and we'll give him a giant penis. <laughs> uh, I, so, yeah. What is? Read the question again about the monster. All right. When we record, you're gonna have to laugh a little bit more. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the question is, if you're making a Frankenstein monster, uh, what are you using from all of us? So it's a Frankenstein monster. But, so you. But let's make the best. <laughs> So you just want to do who's the best body part? Who's yeah. got the best? I really think try. my legs, dude. I think my Your legs. Your haunches? Yeah, if we're my building huge a huge minotaur. Legs. I don't know. Like, my legs aren't sexy, but they're very long. And I was a distance runner, like a very competitive runner. I ran a mile in four minutes and 51 yeah. seconds. Wow. There's no way. Very strong Whoa. legs. And I did some MMA. Joe's legs, my butt. Your butt. Yeah, Feeney's torso. Definitely. Yeah, not your again. chest. Not though. the chest. That is no. a torso. That's yeah. exactly. No, right. no. Torso, torso up to your tits and then yeah. we we'll go shoulders up. I got some nice rib cage. Hit the here. Oh, Joe, Joe, okay. Joe's chest. Feeny's rib cage. Yeah. I have a wee. I have like a concave chest. So my yeah. penis. I, I worked out yesterday. No. So that hurt. No. My penis. So we don't get distracted by. Uh, no, give it by herpes. Who? Use my dick. Oh, great. Yeah. Herpes. Oh, that's a good monster. Yeah. 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 Humble yeah. the monster. <laughs> Like it's giving it a weapon. Oh, great, great, great. Humble the monster. <laughs> <laughs> My like arms. No, I think, I think <laughs> we give it Brendan's penis so we know why it's so angry. <laughs> give it a motivation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> you, what the fuck? You had a choice. Are you kidding? I think this new hair, you've, you've passed Feeney. Oh, wow. Wow. Yes. <laughs> that's true. I there? think actually, I think that's true. It looks like the, this the I also agree. Here, here comes the love bombing. Something yeah. real hurtful is yeah, coming. Yeah, if yeah, we're just yeah. saying flat take out, take off, your, take off your my hat, hat hair. Yeah. You yeah. Have? Yeah. Oh, well, oh. A, a good soldier oh. doesn't claim his tools. Oh. Yeah, he's got you. Yeah. I got the yellow and the way it, it's swimming. It looks yeah. like a, a You're getting break caught up on the yellow. I, I got like a, a Mark McGrath going on, kind of. Yeah. Oh. It's a w- good thickness. You're losing yours. Oh, His yeah. is like, you, you're mine's losing thicker yours. than ever. Are you, no. Have you seen thicker the top of his ever. head? I see it right now. Yeah, no, Brent, yeah you can see <laughs> it from any direction. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you can really. Oh. It's, it's, it looks like a. Sorry. For, it looks like a forest in winter. 
I yeah. didn't say anything. That is what it looks like. <laughs> okay. Wow. Everybody loves Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but nobody's saying, look at the trees. <laughs> are you kidding? Look uh, at the bareness Christmas? of the trees. <laughs> Everybody's like, look at the trees during Christmas. Christmas trees. Yeah. Fair enough. There you go. Okay. We got time for two more questions, I think. Great. Let's do Greg or Reg. <laughs> Can you please cut loop and elevate the volume of whatever feed he just did? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Keep that on loop, please. During the during the uh, during the final two questions. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this one comes from Greg Argino. Oh, hey, Greggy Argino. Here's the scenario: exorcism. You are a demonic entity tasked with possessing unsuspecting humans. Who do you choose to possess? What do you do once you're inside? And how are you finally exercised slash defeated? I go into exercised. I go into Joe and I start telling everybody that Sagalo does incredible impressions to everybody. That's my possession. Very great. good impressions. <laughs> he does great impressions. Wow. Wow. Um this is what you do. I feel like I would possess like a woman. Yeah. And then like grab my, my boob. Yeah. And like shove it in her. Yeah, this doesn't sound. You want to get fucked <laughs> by you? <laughs> Wait, so if you possess, yeah. it's just my. Yeah. What happens to you, my body while I'm possessing? You definitely are an Sleep? inhabitant. You're an of both entity. Body. It says. Yeah, you're kind of just like almost a, you know, lu state. lucid, yeah, avatar. I think you're dead. I think your body is dead. Oh. You are a ghost. It says you are an entity, so you might just be entity. like a Casper situation. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. the devil doesn't die when he's inside the chick. No. The girl. He's living in there? Where's he's living in he's there. Living in yeah. There. yeah, so he gets to carry out acts. And yeah, eat. but a lot of times, demonic spirits and entities or things are like, like, oh, someone died in this house, and now the spirit is in a doll who's going to kill you. know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like it's the physical body is sort of irrelevant. Whatever it is, I'd be a woman and then play with myself. I yeah, think. that was, that is That's kind of the first thing. But what about like people calling that rape, you think? <laughs> well, no, I, I ditched <laughs> the part where my body... That was like a hard no. hitting journalist. Yeah. Like, and what do you say to the Detroit Actors who say that you're pro rape. Well, I'm Joe. saying that's what went through my head. I went, oh, I would go into like Scarlett Johansson's body and then just start like having fun, <laughs> you know. But that's and then in my head, I that <laughs> she's like married that's, to a comedian. Yeah, you you're a co-star. You picked somebody that like was like <laughs> all right, really close to us. All right, okay, here, here, fine. I'll say another name. This is and, really and weird. Nicole, if you can just cut out what I say and put it over Scarlett Johansson, you're going to have to do it twice his name. Okay, yeah. here we go. You're going to like bump into him. Bella Hadid. Yeah, you're going to be on SNL. There you go. Oh, that's right. He's going to be your that's why I said They're, they're, they're oh, yeah. co-stars. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> cast member. Here we go. Replace it with this. Kate McKinnon. Okay, we're good. We're <laughs> Where's good. she been? He sold it with a wink. <laughs> that's kind of what I do. I sell it right at the last second. You, you sell weak writing with the last second charm. Hey, you do what you can, you know? You take you take what you're... Okay, here's my master class. <laughs> you take what you're good at, all right? And you uh, try to exploit it. That's right. For instance, I'm really good at impressions. Impression number one. We all know him. <laughs> we all love him. Donald Trump. Okay. <laughs> that was Casey Kasem. <laughs> it was. The voice was off on that one. It was like too gargly. <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah. We are in chat for We're going now. to the movie. <laughs> we all know Donald Trump. <laughs> um, yeah, I think, yeah, I would be a woman not closely associated with colleagues. And uh, yeah, just masturbate. Yeah, but like, <laughs> do you ever think that that would be like, if she's not into it, it's kind of against her will? Into herself? Well, she's no, you're possessing a woman who is now masturbating because you're doing it. She knows she's possessed. She's not yeah. doing it. It's right. What? What? Yeah, all right. Brendan, well, Brendan's right on this one, I think. Brendan is, uh, he's thinking right. of the <sighs> ethical dilemma. Sure. The morality. Oh, it's in morality. It's I'm sorry, I thought we were having a nice time. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> sorry to uh, bring you cis white males to a screeching halt, but some things need to be said. Wow. 
Uh, this last question comes from our boy, Joe Weber. Hey, Joey Webbs. Hey, here's the scenario. How's your goatee? Hey, you still talk the same, but everyone else you ever talk to all have the same accent, but a different one from yours. What accent do you want everyone else to have? And which one would drive you the most insane? I'm sure this will result in some of the best accent impressions of all time. Yeah. Oh, thanks for putting that pressure on yeah. us. Yeah. I mean, that's all this episode. There we bit. go. Wait, so wait, wait, so we have to give everyone else one accent? Yeah. Is Irish. Down syndrome an accent? <laughs> <laughs> it's a more of an affect. Okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's true too. Uh, like, I, dude, I, that I, would be very fun if in your everyday it just kind of just somebody who you're just having a normal careful. conversation with. Yeah, I know, never, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is this oh, bad? Are we boy, bad? do you? It, it would be it. if it went on another five. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I like oh, man, that. I like it. I got my wheels going. Yeah, you you were standing right on the diving board and like I can we think, cut the last seven minutes of the, whole, <laughs> the whole show um uh patreon i think uh i do feel like irish would be a good a good one because it makes everybody sound a little that's my siri is northern ireland me too oh wow yeah are right, you fucking huh. fucking fart what about <laughs> liverpool like uh liverpool. like everybody has paul mccartney's action which goes as follows <laughs> Who knew that Joe would set off the worst question in podcast history? <laughs> where us, instead of doing a single accent, yeah. self doubt, freak out. Because he did it. Because he was like, this is going to be great. <laughs> yeah. Like, fuck you, man. I think I would go with, uh, like, uh, fuck you, oh, man. hello. Russian. Oh, Russian. Russian. Is that Russian? Yeah. Oh. What did you think it was? I uh, know, Russian. Hello, Russia. <laughs> I can't really do accents. <laughs> mm. I think Yoda. That would that be would fun. be Yoda. very annoying after a while because everybody you'd go to a stadium and everyone's like, talking and they're like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. like oh, it sounds like bees. What about like Hawaiian? <laughs> you know? Nah. <laughs> All right. Well, that's the show, everybody. Joe, thanks for coming by, man. Thanks for having me. Sorry you got mad at me at the last. No, minute. I never get Thank mad. You. It's all a, it's all a joke. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> See you next week. 55 minutes of really blowing you, too. Thanks, Joe. <laughs>